Live from Model Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Hockey East men's action as the Merrimack Warriors get set to take on the University of Connecticut Huskies. We are set for hockey action here at Merrimack College. Delighted to have you with us in this huge Hockey East matchup. Here's Jeffries flying across the red line, ahead to Lepinen, back to Jeffries in the high slot, SCORE! Jeffries on the setup from Lepinen! At 6.41, Merrimack strikes first, and it's 1-0 Warriors. Well, John, what you're going to see on this replay here, besides the quick play to get the puck up ice, you're going to see that Alex Jeffries makes the pass, and then what does he do? He goes right to the net. And although he doesn't get all the way there, he still has the shot from high in the slot there when he gets that return pass. He lets that one go with the quick wrist shot. Alex Jeffries having a great junior year, his fifth goal there, leading the Warriors with 16 points. Merrimack on the board first. It's one to nothing. Time of the goal is 641. Be just before Merrimack put the puck in the net on the power play. So officially Merrimack's 0 for 1. This is their second opportunity. UConn's PK will be tested again here. And a nice job bringing that puck out. Ryan Swerberg on the break in, and he'll get the shot away. Olas the save. Yukon will work it from the half wall out to the near circle where Wood misfired on the shot. Centering pass here, shot score. Yukon able to finish it off. Samu Salmanen ties the game with a power play goal. Looked like sort of a broken play there, but Salmanen ties the game for Yukon. It's 1 1. Absolutely right there on that play there John as Salmon is able to get the puck at the right circle and a Good job by the Huskies despite the fact that it might not have gone quite the way you would have wanted to draw it up You see the block shot there going to the boards But what happens talk about winning a battle there and, and right there is Hudson Shander He's able to get the puck out to Salmon and for that quick shot the power play goal for UConn comes at 648 and the Huskies have tied the game at 1-1 yeah, they looks pretty good on that unit, I would say. Bookman in front, quick shot, save, rebound! And it's just shot wide of the goal. Oh, my, that was a chance for Will Cowley. And the Huskies will attack right to left. 3.18 to go in the period. Lucas sends it far circle, quick shot, almost the save, and he's able to secure the rebound. A lot of traffic in front of Hugo Olas there. And UConn with some chances on the last couple of shifts, one of them with that turnover. Take a look here on replay, Mike. What do you see? Well, you see that Merrimack gets it back, but then Messler just put it right in the slot, and then going after it was Ty Monte, and might have been in a little bit too close. Didn't have a lot of room. Yeah. Yeah, Ty Monte's dad wasn't too bad a player either. Uh, Tony, of course, <laughs> yes. Great NHL career. Well, sure. Seifert back up on top. Here's Bookman in the slot, and Welsher shot it just wide. Now Demon in front. Oh, Welsher had that one lined up, but he misfired. Oh, a couple of chances there for Merrimack. Hillier looking for Welsher on the far wall. Welsher takes a heavy bump there from Massinio. The glove was in the zone. You, uh, one of the UConn players had lost his glove. The referee picked it up and threw it out of the zone right in front of the UConn bench now. Grozier looking for Welsher. They can't penetrate that UConn D. Demon tried to steal that pass and move ahead, but it got behind him. So Olas has to come out of the goal. And UConn had a chance from the near boards. Olas quickly gets back in the net. Well, that was because Shando, who's had an unbelievable game tonight, was up there to prevent the icing. And Olas had to come out to play the puck. Almost got caught out of the net. Olas sends it to Bookman. He's in traffic. Bookman overskates the puck. Bookman gets it back. He sends it up the wall, and UConn with a puck up high. Here's Twerberg. He'll fire one. Saved by Olas. Rebound score. It's knocked in by Jake Percival. And Connecticut takes their first lead of the game, and it was Twerberg. We talked about him in the open. He set the play, and Percival knocks it home. It'll be goal number five of the season for Percival. It's now 2-1 to one UConn. But again, Shander involved in this one as well. Twerberg, as you mentioned, he'll get that shot in. The save is made by Olas, but following up the rebound right there. Haven't been a lot of rebounds at either end tonight. They'll angle it around the boards. Bouncing puck. Oh, here comes Jeffries. Sweeps the cross ice back to Jeffries. He's going to move in. Save! And the rebound, he can't get the stick on it. Well, that wasn't the 
uh, the perfect of most perfect of plays but Warriors still able to generate a good scoring chance there. Yeah still some good stick handling there and quick puck movement but like you said I think as Jeffries one hands it over to uh, Capone he gets it back and maybe in a little bit too tight but try to see if he could stuff it five ball. Here's a steal by Bradley in the neutral zone. Shandor brings it in. Merrimack player fell down. Shandor a short handed breakaway and Ola stones him. Merrimack does not have a short handed goal this year. As the puck comes into the Husky end. Here's Liebold looking for help. Gets it in front. A chance. Shot. Oh, a save. Crozier was in alone. Ziblack will pin his man to the boards. Yukon will get it free into the slot area. Here's Reese. He fires. Olas the save. Rebound right on goal. And the save made by the big Swedish netminder. And as the Huskies work it toward the Merrimack, that Ziblack will angle it around the boards. Kept in. Here's a pass to the bar circle shot. Score! Yukon with their second power play goal of the night. And it comes at 17 47. It's Capone with the goal. And Mike, that one could be the backbreaker. And the UConn bench tapping their sticks on the bench, and it'll be a UConn victory here at Lava Rink tonight. Merrimack scored first in the opening 20 minutes, but UConn tied it in the second, two goals in the third, and UConn posts the victory. The final score three to one for the Huskies. The fifth straight win for UConn over Merrimack, dating back three seasons.